Jacobs Engineering said, to, said today it will acquire mobility analytics player Streetlight Data for an undisclosed sum. Founded in 2012, Streetlight is a big data platform that helps cities unlock mobility insights from location data pulled from smartphone apps. Joining us now in a Yahoo Finance exclusive is Jacobs Engineering CEO, Steve Demetrio. Steve, nice to see you again. It's been a little bit. Congrats on this acquisition. Uh, why are you making this deal? Look, I, you know, overall, there's a uh, there's a growing need, no matter what the industry is, for localized and data solutions that track the movement of people, goods, and services. And you know, whether it's climate response or cyber issues or social equity or whatever, um, that, that's the, uh, the the importance around the world. And so, the acquisition of Streetlight Data uh, gives us a tremendous edge on uh, providing those solutions. You know, just tracking, you've been uh, acquiring uh, companies and, and starting to, I would say, pivot Jacobs more into the data space. Why is that so important looking out over the next few years? Yeah, four years ago, we started this transformation. We've deployed over $7 billion of capital. The first few years were around, you know, building our domain of, of important markets around water, environmental, cyber, and national security and others. Uh, but the last couple of years, we've been focused on now bringing innovative data solutions to, to um, all of those markets. And we started with the Buffalo Group, uh, the Black Links, and uh, now the Streetlight acquisition. We've actually been entering into venture capital where we've been putting seed investments, companies like Hawkeye 360 or Microgrid Labs, um, in, in forming partnerships. And then even broader, uh, more recently, you know, big data partnerships with the likes of Palantir and others. And putting all that together, uh, we've really built up this uh, unique data solutions platform. And can we just take a step back here? Streetlight seems like a really interesting company. Um, when we talk about connected cities, I think most people don't really have a handle, including me, on just how drastically things could change and improve over the next five to 10 years. What specifically is the technology they're using? What are they monitoring? And what is the net effect of all of, all of this going to be for the average consumer? If you just start with, you know, our, the mission that both of our companies have around, you know, climate response and ESG, social equity, and uh, and look at say the climate crisis that we're facing. You just mentioned cities. Cities put out about 65% of the greenhouse gas emissions that are creating that crisis. Transportation, in particular, is around 30% of those emissions. Streetlight brings innovative solutions where they're able to aggregate data from multimodal sources. Um, and it's you know, millions of mobile devices, it's connected vehicles, it's IoT sensors and geospatial uh, acquisition. And then they've been able to combine that with a real unique set of algorithms and machine learning process technology that enables to take all that data, con contextualize it and, and bring it into a, an area where it provides clients meaningful data to, to then plan and invest and, and develop solutions around, uh, around those uh, areas that I talked about. And all of this is incredibly complex. Uh, the company is centered around artificial intelligence as, you, as you've been talking about. Um, but I'm just wondering, and still kind of getting big picture here, um, when we talk about artificial intelligence and all the investment that's necessary, and you, you take a look at, for instance, the, the modern car, you take a look at the Model Y and the incredible engineering that goes into uh, autonomous driving. What's the net effect here for consumers? I'm trying to get it. Uh, how are people going to? Be, how are people's lives going to be impacted here? Are they going to be driving less? Is are the vehicles going to be such vastly different machines, and that's what achieve, uh, achieves your ESG goals? I'm just trying to understand exactly how the consumer is going to uh, be benefiting from this in late five, ten years. Yeah, this is huge for the consumer, for humanity overall. I mean, when you you think of traffic congestion in, in major cities, uh, streetlight is already entered into arrangements with you know, several of the Department of Transportation working on traffic congestion solutions. Um, in some cases, moving people out of cars into public transportation, um, also connecting people across communities, social equity, bringing infrastructure to you know, entire communities rather than you know, what's been a, a problem in the past, just some of the focused uh, higher economic cities. And so, it's a variety of, of opportunities to really improve human life, quality of life, and, and really address the major challenges that are facing cities and, and communities around the world. 
Steve, the last time we spoke, I believe, was was about one year ago today, uh, and there was no infrastructure plan just yet. Now it has been passed. Uh, have you seen a, an uptick in, in your backlog because of this new plan? You know, the key is the pipeline, because uh, as we mentioned uh, several times in, in, in various media recently, that this is going to fa- phase in, you know, over the course of uh, this year and then really start to ramp up in 2023 and beyond. And we have seen a pickup in pipeline uh, as we look at the next several quarters of this year and, and even as we're entering into 2023. So, um, so we're, we're, you know, we're obviously excited about the overall infrastructure bill, the IIJA, and we are starting to see the pipeline improve. Well, congrats again on the deal. Uh, Jacobs Engineering CEO, Steve Demetrio, always good to see you. We'll talk to you soon.